it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be my desk or filming setup makeover. So I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Um, I've been really wanting to have a pegboard put up into my room. So in my room I have this little nook area which I have all of my like drawers and my Alex drawers and stuff like that where I organize all of my crafting items, stationery items and stuff. So if you guys haven't seen how I store all my crafting items in my Alex drawer I will link that down below. I love how I organize my crafting items on my um, IKEA cart which is over here on the side. I will also link that down below but I really wanted to put up a pegboard. Um, in the background as you can see a little bit right there so a pegboard is just a really big board with a bunch of holes in it and you can stick like hooks and different hardwares into it and then you can put up shelves you can hang up cups and just different ways to organize all of your items so um, I found a lot of inspiration off of Pinterest so I will leave my Pinterest down below if you guys need a little bit of inspiration as well that is definitely how I was inspired to put up my pegboard but I thought the pegboard would be a perfect way to not only organize all of my items but it would also be a nice backdrop for my videos and just add like really nice pops of color and stuff like that also if you guys have been a subscriber to my channel for quite some time I did post a similar video to this when I was in college I lived in a dorm room and I did a desk makeover that video was very very popular so I'll make sure to link that down below if you guys want to check it out after this one if you guys have any questions about this video or anything that I did or showed you guys definitely let me know down below but without further ado let's just go ahead and get started all right this is the before setup of my desk or filming setup I actually didn't really mind it I thought it looked actually pretty nice but since I've been wanting to put up a pegboard for quite some time this just happened to be the perfect timing and so this is the after honestly I really really like the way that it turned out I love the pops of color and I like how the pegboard keeps everything so organized so here's just a quick side by side of the before and after so you guys can really see the difference like I stated I love the way that it turned out so if you guys would like to see how I did this then definitely just keep watching Alright, so we're gonna start off with this full marble table. I know there's already so many videos on this on YouTube, but I wanted to include it since it's part of my makeover. So I've had this IKEA table for many years, and as you can see, it's very stained from all my DIY projects and whatnot. So I'm taking this wallpaper from Wall Pops, and it just has a marble pattern. They have many selections to choose from, so I will make sure to link this one specifically down below if you guys are interested. But the way that I applied it was I just took a small part of the corner, peeled it back and then aligned it to my table this is the easier way to put on wallpaper or contact paper uh, you don't want to peel off the whole thing and then attempt to put it on because that way it's just not gonna work out so I'm just going to peel off the wallpaper slowly and then also taking a card I'm gonna smooth it down while I'm peeling at the same time to make sure that there's no air bubbles um, this wallpaper actually wasn't big enough to cover up the table in one try so I did have to go ahead and split it up and off camera I did cover the sides of the table as well and this is the finished product Moving on to the actual background of my filming section, I'm going to go ahead and clear off everything. So I'm just taking away any of the big items like my printers, my cutting machines. Um, I'm going to take off the shelves on the wall as well and then just making sure we have a clean slate to start with. Next, I'm going to rearrange my furniture just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Um, so off camera, I already went ahead and moved the tall Alex drawer all the way to the left. And then here, I'm just moving this four drawer closer to that so we have room in the corner for my rolling storage. So this just fits the corner perfectly and I plan to put my printer on there. And then next, I'm going to be showing you guys my pegboard and accessories that I picked up. So this pegboard is from Home Depot. It was less than $8, which is such a great deal because this is really big. It's four by two feet and I did go ahead and cut it down a little bit off camera. I also picked up this pack of pegboard accessories. So you get 47 pieces in this and this was around seven to eight dollars as well. Really inexpensive and you get a lot of pieces with this set. Also, if you guys would like an alternative, something on a smaller scale, I did find this pegboard kit at Target in the dollar spot section for $5. I did pick this up before I picked up the bigger pegboard. I just realized that I needed something way bigger, so I'm pretty sure this won't be at Target for long, so definitely make sure to check it out. 
Next, I wanted to show you guys how I made this DIY paper holder because I didn't want to spend $10 on one. So what you'll need is two cooling racks. I got this set from the Dollar Tree and it's really good to get really cheap ones because then you'll be able to bend it. You also need some cutting pliers, regular pliers, and then wire that is thick enough that it'll be sturdy and then skinny enough that you'll be able to bend it. So to start off, all you need to do is take one of those cooling racks and you can see that they have these little parts that stick up um, so that it doesn't lay flat on the ground. What you want to do is take your pliers and just bend them so that they lay flat and that they don't stick out. So I'm only doing this for one of the sheets because the other um, cooling rack, I want to make sure that those are sticking out so that it can hit the pegboard so it's not laying against the pegboard if that makes sense. So here's the regular cooling rack and then here's the rack that we bent those little things that were sticking out. So next we're going to move on to putting them together. Alright, in order to connect those two pieces together, you'll just need some shorter pieces of wires. So I went ahead and cut about 3 to 6 inches. It really depends on how big you want your file folder to be. So taking one wire at a time, you want to go ahead and wrap that around one corner of the cooling rack. So I wrapped it around twice and then cut off the excess wire and then make sure to bend the excess wire in so that it doesn't stick out or poke you or anything like that. So this is what it should look like now. You should have one wire connected to one cooling rack and then taking the other cooling rack this is the one that has those little things still sticking out so I'm gonna flip that so that the um, so that it's sticking out towards me but honestly it doesn't really matter at this point so you want to repeat the same steps just wrap it around and then cut off the excess wire Next, you just want to go ahead and repeat the same steps so that it has about three to four wires connecting on the sides. It really depends on you. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up so that those things that are sticking out are facing outwards now instead of inside. Um, and then you want to connect the same on the left side and then also connect at the bottom. So here at the bottom, I actually did about six just to make sure that it was sturdy enough to hold all of my paper pads. But that is up to you. And then I did go ahead and spray paint it gold just to make it look a little bit more fancier and less like their cooling rack. So yeah, I really liked how this turned out. Alright, moving on before we can go ahead and put up the pegboard, I'm going to go ahead and install the organizers that won't be installed with pegboard accessories if that makes sense. So for instance, the DIY paper holder that we just made, I'm going to install these with zip ties. So I'm putting zip tied on each of the holes on either side of the paper holder. I'm going to do this for all four corners just to make sure it's really secure. You have to do this before you put the pegboard up or else you won't have access to the back of it. Um, for instance, this is what the back looks like I did go ahead and cut off the excess zip ties and then you want to continue doing that for any of the other organizers that you don't plan to use pegboard accessories for so for example these small wooden crates that I got from Michaels and went ahead and painted them I'm using these kind of like L hooks to hook them on even though they make it um, removable it's not super secure like the way I want them to be I really want them to be secure up against the pegboard so I'm using again zip ties to um, secure them so basically just sticking them through one of the panels there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps to this other one that I went ahead and painted yellow all right and once that is done we can start putting up our pegboard so I'm using these spacers and screws that came in with that pegboard accessory pack that I got from Home Depot so it came with six so I'm just gonna use these to put up the pegboard um, you want to use spacers so that your pegboard isn't directly up against the wall you want to make sure that there's some space between the wall and the pegboard so you can use the actual hooks and stuff so this is what it should look like it should have a little bit of space like I mentioned Next, once your pegboard is up, you can start adding all of your organizers. So before I actually went ahead and put my pegboard up, I laid it on the ground and made sure I knew where all of my organizers were going to be laid out. So that might be something smart to do before actually putting your pegboard up. Um, so moving on, I'm just going to take these hooks from that accessory pack that I got and just hook those onto the pegboard. And taking any types of containers and bins, just hooking those on. So I'm taking these plastic bins from Walmart. And then I took these two screws and screwed it into my pegboard because I will be hanging a spice rack on there. So I got the spice rack from Ikea that I went ahead and painted blue and just going to hook that onto my pegboard. Next, I'm going to add these curved hooks and I'm going to space them out a little bit and I'm going to make two rolls of this because we're going to be hanging our washi tapes on here. 
Um, and then I'm going to take these wooden dowels that I got from Home Depot. I did go ahead and cut those down and painted them white. We're going to put our washi tapes on there a little bit later. And then lastly, we're just going to continue to keep adding hooks. Um, there's so many different kinds of hooks that you can get for pegboards, so it's really nice to see that there's such a wide variety to choose from. So after that, all we're basically going to do is add all of our tools and items, and this part is the fun part. So I'm going to go ahead and add my scissors and just random tools into these hooks. And then this one is perfect for your hot glue gun, so I'm going to add mine here. And then I'm just going to put more pliers and stuff and just definitely just do what works best for you. Next, I went ahead and added some of my washi tapes on those wooden dowels and I'm just going to go ahead and put them back onto those curved hooks. This is an awesome way to organize and also display your washi tapes. And then here I'm just adding some of my acrylic paints onto that spice rack that I got from Ikea. I love this brand of acrylic paints because it's just so affordable. And then of course for our lovely DIY paper holder, I'm going to put my 12x12 paper pads in here. I actually only have two, but I love the way that it displays the covers of these paper pads because this one here is just so pretty. Next, I'm adding this fake succulent plant into one of the wooden box. I just really wanted a pop of green and I just love succulent plants. And then in this little bin, I'm putting my X-Acto knife and just miscellaneous tools. Again, like I stated, you can pretty much put anything um, on your pegboard. Um, I would usually put tools that I reach for a lot just so that it's easily accessible. But honestly, like I stated, really up to you. So for this plastic bin, I'm putting a lot of my glitters. I actually have a lot of glitters for some reason. So I'm just going to organize them all here together and then putting my chalk markers on the other side. And then lastly for the pegboard to fill up the empty spaces, I'm going to tape down this notepad with double sided tape and then I tape down this little quote uh, piece of paper that I got from one of the paper pads. Lastly, I'm going to add on my fairy lights that I featured in one of my DIY Valentine's um, room decor video which I will link down below. And this is the finished look of the pegboard. Like I stated, I love the way that it turned out. I like how everything is so organized and all of my items are displayed at the same time. So to finish off this makeover, we're just going to decorate and organize all of our items that we cleared off earlier. So I actually went ahead and installed one of the shelves on top of the pegboard just because it was looking a little bit empty and boring. So I'm putting up my Friends DVDs packet and I got this a long time ago before Friends came on Netflix and then just putting up my college uh, degree up there and then on this empty side I'm just going to hang up one of my canvas that I painted um, me and my best friends we do our own DIY paint nights which are really fun and then on top of the Alex uh, Ikea drawer I'm putting a vase with fake flowers I love flowers even if they're fake I just love the pop of color and then I'm putting some of my favorite makeup palettes that I use all the time up here as well along with my nail polishes and then for the rolling cart, I'm going to put my printer and my silhouette cutter on top of that because whenever I want to use it, I can just roll out the cart and so that the printer won't be in the way all the time. And then for that middle organizer, I'm going to put my makeup caddy in the center and then my makeup brushes on the side just to keep it really simple and clean. So this is the finished look for my desk slash filming setup makeover. I worked so hard on this video so if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down below. Also, if you guys are new to my channel and would like to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing. And let me know down below which part of this makeover was your favorite. Mine is definitely the pegboard, of course. And also make sure to check out some of my other videos that I mentioned earlier, such as my previous desk makeover video and how I organize all of my crafting and stationery supplies using my Alex drawer and cart. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!